Meat analog as future food. What is meat analog? Meat analogs are food products that are designed to mimic the appearance, flavor, and texture of meat products. It also called meat alternative, meat substitute, and imitation meat. By the year 2050, the global population is estimated to have huge increase to 10 billion. There is a big shortfall between the amount of food we produce today and the amount needed to feed everyone in 2050. There will be nearly 10 billion people on Earth by 2050, about 3 billion more mouths to feed than there were in 2010. As incomes rise, people will increasingly consume more resource-intensive, animal-based foods. A 593 million hectare land gap, an area nearly twice the size of India, between global agricultural land area in 2010, and expected agricultural expansion by 2050. An 11 gigaton GHG mitigation gap between expected agricultural emissions in 2050, and the target level needed to hold global warming below 2 degrees Celsius, the level necessary for preventing the worst climate impacts. Therefore, plant-based proteins are more sustainable than animal-based proteins. Although meat is still king, the increase in the number of world's population projected to 10 billion by 2050 cannot cope with the global demand for meat. In late 2019, the novel coronavirus spreads across the globe. COVID-19 crisis has reduced food service demand, with the forecast of global beef production dropped to 72 million tons and pig meat to 101 million tons in 2020. This contraction is mainly driven by COVID-19 disruption and the ongoing African swine fever situation. There is a highly unequal distribution between land used for livestock and crops for human consumption. Livestock takes up 77% of agricultural land despite supplying only 18% of the world's calories and 37% of total protein. The land used for crops is much lower which only requires 23% of agricultural land and, according to FAO, plant-based resources can supply global calories up to 82%, while global protein up to 60%. Thus, plant-based meat is considered the best alternatives to overcome the overproduction of livestock and produce environment-friendly meat products. In fact on average, 7 kg of plant protein is needed to yield a kilogram of beef. There are several types of traditionally structured products such as tofu, tempid, and seton produced based on centuries-old recipes. These products require less area and recorded lower in greenhouse gas emissions than livestock. Although they are well-known plant-based meat replacers for centuries in East Asia, the texture and unique taste of these products are different from meat functionality and are not specifically created to imitate meat products. For this reason, acceptance in Western countries is low. In the modern plant-based meat products, the ingredients used make these products fit under the ultra-processed foods classification. Modern plant-based meat is suitable to be referred as meat analogs because of the simulation of traditional meat products functionality that is similar in product properties or sensory attributes. Another type of meat-free protein alternative is a fungi-based alternative. One successful model of alternative fungal product currently on the market is macoprotein corn. Macoprotein refers to the proteinaceous food obtained from the psyllium species of the filamentous oil fungus Fusarium. The fibrous and filamentous structure of macoprotains are almost similar to chicken with the added value of fiber in it. Macoprotein contains 44% protein, 18% dietary fiber, and only 13% fat and offers an excellent pattern of amino acids with the lower cholesterol content. Insects will promise a new source of protein for human food in the future. Insects do not contain only high protein, but also sufficient in vitamins, unsaturated fatty acids, and minerals, which can be considered nutritious. Insect consumption can also help to sustain the environment as insect rearing requires very less space and create less pollution than livestock production. Even though insect proteins 
already in the mainstream in some Asian markets, but now a growing number of companies in Europe and North America started using insects for human food and in animal feed. For instance, in 2017 the Swiss food retailer launched insect-based burgers and insect energy bars. In Germany in 2018, Bug Foundation started selling its insect-fortified burger made from buffalo worms and soy protein. As conclusions, plant-based meat offer consumers familiar meals with diversified and a lighter impact on the earth and human health. Fungal protein and insect-based products also another potential meat alternatives prospect. Plant-based protein sources are not only healthy but also fast, convenient, and non-perishable, which means require little attention than animal proteins. Therefore, the future is now, and the plant-based alternatives are game-changer of global food security frame for future food supply.